Hey guys, Kira Swimmer here and welcome back to another Super Golf video where today I'm going to be going over how to use sends. I've been getting a lot of comments from people in people on my Discord server asking me how I move the camera so perfectly in my videos. So today I'm going to make a video demonstrating how to do that. Now I dropped this word sends, so you might be wondering. Sends is short for sensitivity and refers to changing the Roblox camera sensitivity so that you can aim the camera in a very specific direction to get a hole in one. Throughout your time on Super Golf, you might have seen one of these, and you might be wondering. So let's start with the sensitivity I showed you in the intro. Let's start with this number right here. This is the number that you would put into the Roblox camera sensitivity setting. This right here refers to how many steps left or right you would move the camera in order to make the shot, which when the sensitivity is this high, when you move the camera, it'll look like it's stepping, which many of you were thinking like was like there was a button I was pressing that would do that. Nope, it's just very carefully moving the camera. And then there's PBS. This does not stand for peanut butter sandwich or public broadcasting service. It stands for power bar sensitivity. Power bar sensitivity is a setting in Super Golf that affects how sensitive the power bar is to mouse movement. And this right here is the power that you'd be trying to get with this power bar sensitivity and camera sensitivity combination. Then there's timing. To be entirely honest, I don't really understand timing, but what I think it is, is how long you have to wait in seconds after you spawn in to the map before you can make the shot which can be very hard if you're dealing with power bar sensitivity and sensitivities like this, because it can be very hard to tell what one left looks like for a sensitivity this high. So now that you know all about sensitivity lists, now you probably want to know. So first let's start a game. So I'm gonna do the sensitivity I demonstrated earlier. So I'm gonna do Cyber and Classic. Make sure this is turned off, otherwise you will be very sad and upset with yourself and set the spawn position to center. And just in case you screw it up, turn on replay hole. Then you go into your Roblox settings and actually do not put in your camera sensitivity because there's one thing you need to check first before you do that. And that is screen resolution. The resolution that Roblox is being rendered in will affect how sensitivity behaves. And it's the reason why most sensitivity lists posted by YouTubers like Joe Finger and others have the resolution the sensitivities were found in posted in the description. But what if your screen resolution doesn't match with the resolution posted in the description? Well, through much pain and much thinking and much trial and error, I've managed to find a formula that will convert any sensitivity from any resolution to any other resolution. And I'll have the formula up on the screen right here, is that the converted sensitivity is equal to the sensitivity on the list times the square root of the original sensitivity that was used to find the the sensitivity on the list over your screen resolution also keep in mind that the gui scale in windows does affect the resolution that roblox renders at if your gui scale is not set to 100 percent take your monitor's resolution and divide it by the gui scale percentage divided by 100 and then you should get the value that, that you would use for that equation. Also keep in mind that power bar sensitivity is not affected by your screen resolution. I know that was a lot of math jargon, but it's important to know so that you don't get met with disappointment whenever you try and do someone else's sensitivity list. So if I were to punch in the 10.81 sensitivity right here, go to play and then move, oh my, yup, that's, since you turned up your sensitivity so high, keep in mind that you have to be very, very deliberate with the way you move the mouse. And if you want to try again because you screwed up or did a full rotation or whatever, you have to go back to the menu and do it again. You cannot use R because if you use R, it will slightly move the golf ball, meaning that the sensitivity will no longer work. So you gotta go here, move the mouse very carefully to the left to get two steps. If there is no power specified, shoot with 100 and it won't work okay okay so this sensitivity i found does have a slight bit of timing with it if you wait too long it won't work and if you shoot it right away it won't work a lot of sensitivities are like that so you, you don't want to hang around for too long 
just get in position and fire and then it will get in hopefully an additional tip for moving the mouse very carefully to the left is to move it up slightly instead of moving it straight left and right because if you move it straight left and right it can be so easy to get so lost now you know how to read sensitivity lists you know how to aim the ball properly but what if you want to do some experimentation yourself well here's so the way i like to find sensitivities is let's go to a hole that i have not found a sensitivity for myself we'll do hole two for example so first thing you'll do is you will start with the ones place so let's start with i don't know eight we'll go in here and we'll do one left and make sure you actually have one left don't be like me and think two left is one left it's not be like all right maybe maybe you need to be slightly more to the left so let's try 10. And you keep doing that until you get until you get like somewhat close to the hole and then you can start moving to the tenths place and then the hundredths and then the thousandths or however precise you need to make it in order to actually get it in the hole so 10 doesn't miss this slightly and 11 misses slightly so it must be in between 10 and 11 or it probably won't be because hole 2 is a strange hole but now let's try 10.5 Oh, that's something. Now we're getting somewhere. So let's try 10.7. See what that happens. And you just got sort of, it's a lot of trial and errors trying to find sensitivity. Oh, I don't know what that was. For an easier hole like, you know, forest hole one or something, this trial and error process will still take a while, but it won't take as long as for a hole like hole two cyber. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comment section below and I will see you all next time. Later.